time stops when we're alone you got my love don't let it go feels like we're paper thin one step away from caving in when you're out with all the wild roams and you're looking for a way back home i'll be like that only you can see
when you consider that half of their schooling was was really uncertain, right? Whether it's distance learning, hybrid learning, are, are we going back to distance learning? Are we wearing masks? Are we not wearing masks? Uh, just their resiliency, their perseverance. Uh, I hope they feel proud of because I'm sure I'm proud of them. I'm most proud of how far I've come. What I'm most proud of, even though it's simple, is probably just getting through the entirety of high school. Probably most proud of the meaningful relationships that I've been able to forge while I'm here. I mean, the staff, like, they really care about us as people. I'm most proud of this blast football season because we were able to go undefeated the first team in school history. Definitely going into it, I was very shy and quiet and afraid to be myself, I guess. And then now I would say I'm outgoing and more confident and a lot happier. I, I think this winter has, has been a an unbelievable experience for, for all of our students. Um, you know, having that much success, having two teams win the state hockey tournament, having a, a basketball team go and be the Constellation champions, it just really, when you have teams that are being successful like that, it just changes the culture of your school. Uh, if I could describe my senior year in three words, I would say busy, uh, exciting, and a little bit chaotic. <laughs> Fun interesting and stressful. <laughs> Exciting, challenging, and fun. My favorite memory throughout my high school career was probably being able to dance at the football games. Definitely the Black History Program and the Multicultural Show. Probably be when me and my friend got to play badminton in the main foyer in gym class. What I really love about Andover High School is just our energy, the teachers, the students, just everyone is really positive energy. I really love the staff at Andover High School. I think that they do a fantastic job helping every student. So I want to go to the University of Minnesota and major in biology. I'm most looking forward to on my next journey to meet new people, experience a new place. As I start my new journey, I'm most looking forward to just all of the possibilities. I'm probably looking forward most likely to just getting into the real world. We have taken advantage of everything that we've gotten back since the pandemic. Like, the school dances are so full, everyone's at all the sports events and the plays. It gave us a realization that anything could be taken away, and so that made this year so much more special because we enjoyed every moment. I couldn't be more proud of you. Uh, as my first year as principal, I couldn't have asked for a better group. I wish you guys the best of luck. You are ready. You will have always had, a, a, I guess, a lasting impression on me, um, and I'm going to take that with till for the rest of my career. So good luck to you. Um, you're going to do great things.
Good afternoon. On behalf of the staff and students of Andover High School, I would like to welcome you to our 19th annual commencement exercise. Please join me in thanking the band for their processional music this morning. Thank you under the direction of Mr. Blake Peterson. And now I invite you to stand as the Andover Chamber Choir Seniors, conducted by Miss Melanie Chelberg, sing our national anthem. Seniors, you can keep your caps on. Thank you, Ms. Chelberg and Anna Required. At this time, I would like to ask Marie Claire Mutumba to lead us in our invocation. Marie Claire Mutumba is the daughter of Clement and Shalanda Mutumba. She is a first generation immigrant who came to the United States at the age of five. During her time at Andover High School, she has served as student council president, secretary of character for National Honor Society, a member of DROP, which is different races organizing peace, as well as our LEO organization. She's participated in cross country, Nordic, and track, and serves as track captain this year. She will be graduating with high honors and is a four-year academic letter recipient. Marie Claire will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities in the fall with plans to major in political science and pursue a law degree. Marie Claire. Amid all the noise in our lives, we take this moment to sit in silence, to give thanks for another day, to give thanks for all those in our lives who have brought to us warmth and love, to give thanks for the gift of life. Let us open ourselves here, now, to the process of becoming more whole, of living more fully, of forgiving and giving more freely, of understanding more completely the meaning of our lives. At this time, please take a moment of silence to reflect upon the achievements of the Andover High School class of 2022. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce the superintendent of the Anoka Hennepin School District, Mr. David Law. Thank you very much. Wonderful job. Students, you can sit down. I see you looking anxiously. Congratulations, Andover High School class of 2022. It's an honor to be here with you today. 
As our district graduates almost 3,000 students this year over the last seven days, you are joining almost 150,000 Anoka Hennepin graduates dating back to 1952. At this time, I'm gonna get some audience involvement. Parents, community members, family and friends, if you're a graduate of the Anoka Hennepin School District, would you mind raising your hand right now? Students, you have literally tens of thousands of people out there welcoming you, hopefully helpful, into your next endeavor. Students, eight out of 10 of you have taken at least one class towards college credit or post-secondary credit during your time at Andover High School. Most of you have taken more than that. Research shows that if you've taken at least one class, you're much more likely to attend your post-secondary endeavor. Two or more classes and you're likely to complete it. Congratulations to you for your effort and saving your parents literally millions of dollars in post-secondary tuition. Over 30 years ago as I began as a teacher in the Anoka Hennepin District, a young woman taught me a lesson about what it was to be a teacher and that lesson was not that I should be telling her what her future should be, but I should be encouraging her to dream about what her future could be. As we offer some of the most robust elective programming in the metro area and around the state, I hope you've found that inspiration for what your future could be. I hope we've encouraged you to pursue, I hope our staff members have connected, that you feel confident moving on to that next step. Community members, 70% of the Anoka Hennepin community no longer has children in school or does not have students in school yet. It's with that in mind that I extend a huge thank you for making another commitment this past fall to support our students, our future graduates for the next 10 years. It takes a village to raise students successfully and we have a supportive community. Finally, students, as you graduate today, know that the last four years have been some of the most challenging years in public education, certainly in my memory. I know what you have survived has given you the skills to take on any challenge you chase. You might not feel it, but we have 150,000 people out there ready to nudge you along. Our school board and I are very proud of you for making it to this moment today. Congratulations, and over high school class of 2022. Thank you, Superintendent Law. At this time, I would like to call up our senior speaker, Ms. Piper Kringle. <laughs> Piper is the daughter of Jason and Cheryl Kringle. During her time at Andover High School, Piper served as Vice President of Student Council, Secretary of Leadership of the National Honor Society, was one of the captains of the swim team, choir president, and a choir section leader. Piper was recently awarded the AAA Award for her participation in arts, academics, and athletics, and will be graduating with highest honors here at Andover High School. After graduation, Piper is looking forward to attending St. Scholastica in Duluth with an intended major of nursing and a goal of becoming a nurse midwife. Ladies and gentlemen, Piper Kringle. Thank you, Mr. Fine, for introducing me. From our very first year at Andover High School, we were told we are stronger together. And I have to say that after everything we have been through these past four years, I agree. We had to work against so many things to be here. Whether you attended your Google Meets or slept right through them, you still got here. So take a second to be proud of yourselves. We made it. I want to thank the parents, teachers, and the whole staff for helping us get here. I know it wasn't easy with online classes and hybrid classes, but it means the world to us that you were there and that you are here now.
The definition of graduating is the receiving or conferring of an academic degree or diploma. But I want to expand on that. Graduating isn't just finishing school. It's also the completion of some of the hardest and frankly weirdest parts in our lives. It's about completing the part in our life where we start figuring out who we are. We're discovering our identity, our passions, our dislikes, and what motivates us. So when you think about graduating today, don't just think about it as just a completion of classes. Think about it as a completion and completing a period in your life that has set you up for your future. The past four years have been different for everyone, and it's been difficult for everyone. But I think we have more in common than we know. In our past four years in high school, we have taken over 2,500 AP exams. We have had over 115 teams and individuals make it to state for athletics. We have had eight art students, 42 music students, and five productions be shown or performed at a state level. We have spent so much of our lives together through the good memories that we will laugh at for years to come, like the fact that the S in the gymnasium sign is upside down, and through the bad memories, like all the freezing cold moments where we had to sit outside because the fire alarm went off, or the new wing that is somehow colder than the portables. We have always been there for each other, through loss, through changes in our lives, and through decisions that help shape who we are. Individually, we are all amazing. We all gain so many different skill sets that make each of us uniquely and unapologetically ourselves. But together, we have experienced something, something that no other graduating class here at Andover has. We are so incredibly lucky to have the opportunity to graduate after a full, almost normal year. After two years of the unknown, we were able to come together. We have been role models to the underclassmen that didn't get a proper welcome into high school. We were leaders in a time where everything was uncertain. We were a support system for those who lost out on this amazing experience we get to call our senior year. I hope you all leave here today proud of yourself. I hope you all realize that you have been part of something amazing. I hope you'll remember this as you continue on your journey. Life from here on out will be different. We're on the path to the rest of our lives. And it may be scary, but we managed to make it through the last few years. If we can get through that, we can do anything. Congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Piper. Let me begin by once again uh, asking you to join me in thanking Superintendent Law, our school board member, Matt Audette, Associate Superintendent Josh Delich, all of our staff at Andover High School for working together with our families to get us to graduation day. And now to our graduates. Well, here we are. You made it. As you walk across the stage today, in a few moments, you'll be receiving something that nobody can take away from you. Celebrate, cherish, and embrace this accomplishment. Now, reflecting on this past year, there are a few things that I learned from all of you in my first year as principal at Andover High School. You taught me that backpacks really are useful. It turns out it's way easier to carry your books to class in a backpack than a microwave, a crock pot, or even a shop vac. You reminded me that I still hate TikTok. Sorry, all of you TikTok lovers. Uh, you taught me the art of the rap battle, although some might argue that I taught you a few things or two. You taught me as a longtime basketball coach to love the game of hockey. Who would have guessed that we'd be celebrating two state championships in the same year?
You taught me that I probably should never play with a pep band again. You can see how great they are. You saw how great they are in all the events that they had to play at this year. And in January, staff were invited to play with a pep band at a basketball game. I'm still apologizing to the two students who had to sit in front of me as I think I only played three correct notes the entire night. But you also taught me that two rival teams could come together, work together, perform together, and reflect together no matter what the outcome of the game. And you taught me that student voice matters and you deserve to be heard. Now, at the beginning of this year at our opening pep fest, I challenged you to get involved. And you did, you showed up. Anyone who was at our homecoming football game or went to any of our student dances knows that you showed up. You showed up to support each other at games, concerts, plays. We packed the stands, you brought the noise, and you let everybody know who Andover is. You also showed up when people needed you the most. You packed a church to support a family when what they needed most was love. Take this commitment of showing up for others with you as you enter the next chapter of life. Now, I also challenge you to get back to being academically excellent. Set high expectations for yourself, work hard, and success will follow. We were again named an annual U.S. News and World Report listing the top high schools in the state of Minnesota. We had over 700 AP tests taken this year and are graduating students at a rate of 98%. Seniors, you are ready. Take this passion for learning to the next chapter of your life and never lose that thirst for knowledge. But most importantly, I challenged you to be kind. Be kind to yourself, to those around you, to those you love, and even to those who make you mad. A few years ago, my family and I had an opportunity to attend a wedding for our niece, who was marrying a young gentleman whose family came from India. The uniqueness of this wedding was that they first held a traditional Hindu wedding, followed by a short reception, and then they held a traditional Christian wedding after that. And to see the differences in clothing, customs, even of groom who showed up on a white horse in the pouring rain was truly an amazing experience. But what struck my family the most was the fact that the tenets of marriage for both religions were basically the same. Faithfulness, servanthood, and above all, love. We were able to appreciate the beauty in the differences of both customs, but also celebrate this union between two people. Now graduates, imagine a world where differences could be celebrated and that uniqueness is what bonds us together for good. Today, I ask you graduates, as a society, we need your help. You see, we're broken. We have completely lost our way. We no longer know how to talk through conflicts, value each other's differences, listen to another's point of view, and come to agreements that will work for everyone. And we look to you to show us how to do this again. Be proud of your story, but also realize that those around you, those sitting next to you, and those you will meet in life have a different story as well. And above everything, graduates, remember this, kindness does matter. And so today, we are proud of you. We are proud of your perseverance, your resiliency, your passion, and your strength. You are ready to turn the page. So go out and write that next chapter. Focus on your road ahead and change the world as a proud graduate of Andover High School. Thank you and congratulations. Superintendent Law, members of the school board, family, members, and guests, may I present to you the Andover High School Class of 2022. 
They have satisfied all of the requirements as set down by the State of Minnesota Department of Education in the Anoka Hennepin Independent School District number 11. They are now prepared to receive their diplomas. Mr. Audette, as a member of the school board, will you please come forward to accept the class of 2022 on behalf of our district. As many of you know, this year's graduation will be the last at Anoka Hennepin for Superintendent Law. Please join me in recognizing him for his many years of dedicated service to our schools and our community. Thank you, Superintendent Law. <laughs> Principal Fine, the members of the Anoka Hennepin School Board are proud of you in the Andover High School class of 2022. We are grateful to the parents and guardians of our graduates for their support. On behalf of the entire Anoka Hennepin School Board, it is with great pride I accept the class of 2022 and commission the awarding of diplomas. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Mr. Audette. All right, here we go. At this time, I would ask Ms. Freeman will be bringing her students forward so that we may begin conferring diplomas. Students, once you have walked across the stage, please move your tassel from the right side to the left side on your hat. This is a symbolic of your crossing over the high school to the next stage in your life. Audience, we would ask that you please refrain from any noisemakers or excessive noise so that everyone can hear their student's name read. Mrs. Freeman. Good afternoon. My name is Megan Freeman, and I am proud to present the following student, Cody Lindstrom. Additionally, I am proud to present the following students on behalf of Brandon Borich. Shelby Hamner. Colton Hearn. Lucas Husline. Raya Hoppy. Emily Jacobson. Caden Johnson. Alex Case, Sarah Kaiser, Latrina Kirkla, Nathan Kosek, Aaron Kruna, Braden Larson, Aiden Lee, Sydney Lenars. Hunter Lycom, oh, Emma Lacona, Joseph Lore, Abigail Luke, Aiden McCullough, Abby McQuay. Talon Miles, Caitlin Morgenstern, Isabel Nelson, Blake Nianetti, Eva Nyhammer. Good afternoon, my name is Stacy Griffin and I am proud to present the following students. Filson Abdallah. Dominic Anderson. Yusuf Akel. Olivia Backer. 
Caden Backstrom. Olivia Balcony. Emma Benson. Gabriel Berkmeyer. Mackenzie Bouchard. Daniel Buchanan. Reese Carlson. Annabella Castillo. Edgar Coronado. Grace Crandall. Dylan Dollar. Camille Deplaise. Paige Davidson. Ashley DeGolier. Cole Doctor. Nicholas Donner. Ash Donovan. Brandy Eggleston. Evan Isinger. Isabel Engstrom. Nicholas Fadler. Aiden Foster. Connor Foy. Ashton Frost. Taylor Gabbert. Emma Hendrickson. Good afternoon, my name is Wade Johnson. I am proud to present the following students. John Hahn. Karina Hall. <clears throat> Ethan Hennessy. Carter Hiscock. Petrea Hauska. Joshua Jenks. Abigail Johnson. Colton Johnson. Tara Johnson. Abigail Campa. Jerica Kirkendall. Jordan Knudsen. <laughs> Bailey Kostick. Cora Langmaid. Tyler Lunau. Claire Lickfeld. Benjamin Lindy. Amanda Lawn. Johanna Lopez. Zachary Lovejoy. Devin Marcotte. Logan McHale. Andrew McIntyre. Gabrielle Mahalovic. Maxwell Minikov. And Diem Wynn.
Good afternoon. My name is Pete Kutchis. I am proud to present the following students. Isaac Hall. Lucy Hall. Isaac Helverson. Emma Heath. Silas Hepakoski. Mackenzie Hiscock. Peyton Hitchens. Brennan Hoddenfield. Lily Wynn. Alexandra Imdek. Caden Johnson. Parker Johnson. Shirley Carwarzen. Taylor Chelson. Weston Knox. Anthony Kuznia. Natalie Larson. Savannah Larson. Kyle Law. Louis Liburd III. Charlie Lidberg. Trinity Lopez. Tristan Mackinnon. Erica Maddich. Aiden McKeefrey. Giovanni Mejia. Marie Claire Mutumba. Olivia Nothi. Good afternoon. My name is Alyssa Lane, and I am proud to present the following students on behalf of John Kybig Ava Halverson, Brandon Hauer, Matt Hesley, Drew Holmstrom. Dana Hopkins, Kaylin Jacobs, Ethan Johnson, Michael Jones, Nikolai Coleman, Piper Kringle, Caleb Landry, Kyler Leonard, Marissa Le Lowen, James Loyacano, Hannah Ludwig, Noah Martin, Hannah McIntosh, Derek McNeil, Joey Mittenen, Megan Mitchell, Brennan Mosbeck, Eric Nimitz, Daisy Norton, Diego Norton, Kate Ortquist, Lindsay Padilla, Bailey Pfeiffer. Good afternoon. My name is Matt Lawrence, and I'm proud to present the following students. Elena Anderson. Samuel Angel. Emily Audette. Logan Babineau. Nathan Eberg. Chastity Benson. Emmy Burby, Matthew Binstock, Laura Borsma, Mason Bush, 
Joshua Cleveland. Molly Cotter. Noah D'Agostino. Caroline Davis. Savannah DeShaney. Connor Develis. Corey Domeyer. Jaden Duma. Leonella Zubinyuk. Elijah Edwards. Mallory Ellison. Shane Eppenberger. Claire Evenson. Nathan Fonseca. Bella Foster. Noah Fornier. And Davis Goman. Good afternoon, my name is Ms. Anleaf Johnson, and I'm proud to present the following students. Gavin Haney. Peyton Heinzone. Cameron Hepner. Nolan Hoffman. Caitlin Honer. Hope Isaacson. Cole Johnson. Connor Jolly, Mia Jones, Kaylee Kelvey, Jonah Colden, Rebecca Kramer, Joshua Lochner, Amber Lawrence, Nathan Levy, Jake Claytola. Joshua Lensmeyer, Morgan Locken, Samantha Lucas, Joseph Millett, Audrey Mayer, Finian McLaughlin, <laughs> Octavio Mendoza. Katerina Michelli, Paige Myos, <laughs> Trevor Nelson, Alandra Norling, <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Kelsey Meyer, and I am proud to present the following students. Wendy Ostrut, Jacob Peet, Owen Peterson, Lily Pickett, Blake Papinga, Chantal Primus, Diosana Ramirez Hernandez, Dylan Rasmussen. Sierra Renkert, Kimberly Romero, Natalie Schoenberger, Gino Schultz, Joseph Seleski, Michael Smith, Ava Smits, Aaron Stenquist. Joshua Surgenor, Hunter Tauzel, Amelia Thompson, Colton Thunstrom, Noah Van Voris, Gao Vu, Jasmine Wallstrom, Bryce Weingartner, Emma Wolak, 
Samuel Wolf, Lindsay Yang, and Xander Zerwas. Good afternoon. My name is Dave Paddock, and I'm pr uh, proud to present the following students. Kyler Gerrels, Natalie Jelikowski, Justin Gertis, Augustus Giddings, Emily Gilmore, Kayla Gore, Tyler Goman, Ashley Gravo, Kenneth Grando, Logan Gravink, Esme Graysula, Isabella Grelis, Carson Green, Travis Gross, Jordan Giddem, Parker Guy, Pearl Gamera, Mason Hefner, Mina Hinson, Owen Jacobson, Stella Jensen, Brittany Callio, Evan Kelmas, Sydney Lochner, Matthew Larson, Gavin McLean, Claire Nelson. Good afternoon. My name is Blake Peterson, and I am proud to present the following students Naba Abdul Karim, Michael D. Anderson. Marissa Arshambo, Benjamin Adet, Chase Baker, Maya Bastion, Brendan Began, Michaela Berg, Benjamin Bloom, Haley Brown. Dylan Buchanan, Jersey Casillo, Andrew Chevalier, Shea Crawford, Anish Curtis Moroski, Allison Dolan, Miles Darby, Matthew Darfler. Jack Douglas, Anna Downs, Carter Edge, Amelia Isinger, Nicholas Eldorado, Brianna Evans, Jonathan Ferretti, Christopher Foster, Deuce Froyland, Carly Schultz. Good afternoon. My name is Lori Rodica, and I'm proud to present the following students Nathan Miller. Lisa Masia, Logan Myers, Cameron Nelson, Elijah Nyhammer, Maddie Oblander, Benjamin Osberg, B. Overall, Allison Overham, Taylor Purcell, 
Logan Rainwater, Brooke Ramsey, Kylie Reno, Gabriella Rosen, Kyle Sanders, Ella Shuffleman, Ryan Scott, Sarah Snell, Katie Snyder, Connor Zone, Brenna Stocky, Blake Swanson, Allie Tolopson, Peyton Tossi, and Leah Waddell. Good afternoon. My name is Zach Rice, and I am proud to present the following students. Alexander Abdel Karim. Hussein Asaid. Grace Amel. Lily Anderson. Michael R. Anderson. Lexi Odd. Thomas Babb. Daniel Beaupre, Lillian Belrose, Cameron Bernard, Adam Berthoum, Brooklyn Carlson, Corbin Sutrowski, Delaney Flaggett, Dalen Curry, Carson Sear, Talia Dalton, Jonathan Dayton, Lauren DeBettings, Matthew R. Dorfler, Nathan DuPont, Kylie Dykstra, Mallory Eldine, Xander Elliott. Katie Evans, Aiden Flint, Georgia 44, Madeline Fountain, Lindsay Green, Good afternoon. My name is Chris Fine, and I'm proud to present the following students on behalf of Janelle Schifferly. Edgar Olivo Cabrera. Jaylee Olson. Dylan Owens. Onan Peterson. Max Pickett. Zoe Posernich. Caitlin Reen. Kaylin Roy. Kayla Ruka. Seth Saunders. Nevea Schulte. Luke Sims. Natalie Subchuck. Victor Sommerfeld. Miranda Strobel. Jack Sweet. Will Thomas. Abby Thompson. Mason Tuckenhagen. Brooke Vadat. Max Voss. Chloe Weber. Caden Wheeler, Anthony Young, Ava Zimmerman, Brendan Zinda,
Good afternoon. My name is Gretchen Wall, and I am proud to present the following students. Michael O'Neill. Madison Olson. Nathan Payhen. Bell Perot. Jacob Pearson. Megan Popson. Lauren Ryer. Joseph Rogers. Ruby Sancelli. Killian Scanlon. Brandon Schroeder. Taylor Schultz. Logan Seward. Natalie Shepard. Riley Small. Davis Swenson. Thomas Tuttle. Skyler Vargas. Skyler Wahlberg. Nicole Wallace. Sophia White. Parker Wilkins. Hudson Zinda. Good afternoon, I'm Rich Wilkie, and I'm proud to present the following students. Hannah O'Neill, Ashton Olson, Daniel Orleogo, Joshua Papaquash, Ashley Peters, Landon Peterson, James Polsfoot, Elizabeth Price, Mackenzie Rock, Sophia Rechdahl, Charles Roars, Avery Shelkop, Luke Schrader, Elena Scott, Henry Sharon, Carson Smith, Kara Stay, Matthew Steiner, Baylor Syke, Jaden Thomas, Jonathan Thorne, Michaela Wallen, Jacob Walsh, Drake Wathen, Sam Whitson, Joseph Winter, Joshua Witte, Malcolm Zia. Alberto Zenti. Graduates, throughout the world, the class of 2022 has been bound forever by your shared experiences. 
As you take your first steps beyond the walls of Andover High School, I am confident you will continue the great work you started here. Graduates, please stand and face your families and acknowledge them for the support they've given you on your journey to this day. And now, it is my pleasure to present to you the Andover High School class of 2022. Congratulations, Andover High School.